There is literally a gold rush happening with AI automation right now. And it's all because of this free tool that lets you automate anything in your business, even sell the automations as your own. It's called N8N, and by the end of the video, you'll have everything you need to automate your entire business and to sell any of these automations I'm going to share with you for up to $5,000 a pop. What's up everyone, this is Ben with God of Prompt. Today we're gonna talk about N8N, which is the automation tool that's literally changing everything. Many businesses struggle because they have data in different tools that don't talk to each other, and they're stuck forcing people to spend hundreds of hours to do manual tasks, or they try to build a solution from scratch, but I'm gonna show you why that might be a big mistake. But check this out, MIT just came out with a study that says 95% of AI projects fail. The main reasons for this are not that the AI models aren't capable enough, but instead that people just simply did not understand how to use the AI tools properly or how to design the workflows that could capture the benefits. Another driver for the failures is these companies are trying to build their own solutions in-house, when they'd be better off handing it off to a third-party company that specializes in building this type of software. And that's where N8N comes into the picture. And it's where we can step up to be that third-party service for a business. And we're going to use free templates like the one I'm showing you right now to set up insane automations that get you 90% of the way there immediately. But before we start building, what really is N8N? Well, it's an open source workflow automation tool. It connects different apps and APIs like the ones I'm showing on screen together into repeatable pipelines. Think Zap or make.com, but with more control over the underlying source code if you so desire, and the freedom to self-host it, you know, you're not locked into a monthly fee, and you have more control over your data. So how it works is you build workflows out of nodes. Each node is a step in your workflow. A node can be a trigger like this, which runs once per day. It can be an action like reading from an RSS feed, extracting an item, getting a completion from ChatGPT, adding rows to Google Sheets and you wire all of the nodes together visually. The whole process runs when the trigger fires. What makes it really powerful is the sheer number of integrations, and that even if the app you use is not listed here, you can just fire off a generic HTTP request and get data from any API. It supports conditionals, so if you have like an if or an or statement, and loops, so you can create these really complex workflows. A big differentiator for N8N over other tools like Zapier and Make.com is the source code is available for you to download and host yourself. Or for simplicity, you can just use the cloud-hosted version, which is generally what I prefer to do. Another huge benefit is there's literally thousands of free templates you can copy and paste into your own flows. If we go to n8n.io slash workflows, you get all of the free templates here. Here's some templates that help you learn the basics of n8n. All you gotta do is click on one of these, click use for free, get started free with n8n cloud, and it'll automatically import the workflow into N8N for you in your workspace. So just by connecting whatever credentials you need, you get a flow that's ready to go in literally seconds. But before we go into these insane workflows with hundreds of nodes, I'll show you how to build a simple flow step by step, which will give you the foundations of how N8N works. Then we'll go into all the high ROI use cases you can copy and paste. What I've built here is an AI trend detector. So it listens for this trigger, which fires once per day. After that triggers, it reads from an RSS feed, extracts the first item in that feed, messages uh, an OpenAI GPT-5 model to say, extract the trends from this text. And then finally it stores that in a Google sheet in our trend detector sheet here. There's the trend. So before RSS feeds, chat GPT and Google sheets could not easily talk together, but now it's easier than ever. Let's start with the new flow and we'll start with the schedule trigger. So we've set it to once a day, let's execute, and we get some info about the time we executed this scenario. And that's important because every one of these nodes gives us this output, right? And we can use all of these data points at any point in the future in our flow. Remember the date field in our trend detector Google Sheet? That's populated from this readable date data we got from our trigger. So let's add another node here by clicking plus. We're going to go with the RSS read. So it's asking for a URL here. RSS feeds, they typically have a URL that looks like this. And let's execute the step and see which output we get. Remember all this data we get from the output, we're going to be able to again carry forward later into the scenario. 
So we've gotten 15 items here. If I switch to the table view of our output, we see all the 15 items, right? So it's a bunch of different uh, RSS feed items that are very long as you can see. But we wanna take only the most recent one, let's say this part. So only the first row and only this column. Well, we now have the data floating around in our flow, right? It's right here. And we need to process it somehow. And I'm not gonna lie, I was stuck here. I just asked ChatGPT what to do. And here's how to handle this. So we get a code node. This is a custom code, right? We're gonna say code in JavaScript. We're gonna say run once for all items. And here is the code it gave me. Let's take a step back, right? On the left is our input. This is from our RSS read step. It's the 15 items in a table that look like this, right? It's much too long. We only want to grab one. So the input gets fed into this. The code processes it and takes the first item. And if we execute step here, instead of the 15 original items, we're only left with one item in the output. So that, that's the whole table here, right? This is the whole response. It's just one piece of content. Or we can visualize the same data as a JSON item. This is the whole thing right here. Now we have this content piece of data that we can work with and we're going to feed it into AI to extract any trends. Back in our flow, we'll add a node and we'll go with ChatGPT or OpenAI. We want the message a model action. Now hopefully you're getting the flow of this. Input on the left, we're going to do something with the data in the middle, and then we'll have the output on the right. Uh, if you've never done this before, you'll need to set up your credentials, which involves going to platform.openai.com slash API keys, creating a new secret key. You name the API key something. I'm naming it delete so nobody steals my API key. Hit create key, copy that thing, create a new credential, simply paste the key in here, hit save, and you're good to go. We choose a model for it to use. So we're just gonna choose a uh, GPT-5 mini right here, because it should just give a quick response for this demo. For the prompt, we'll say, act as an ultra dialed in value driven micro trend detector. Write two to three simply worded sentences about how the field of AI automation might be affected by this news. And the beautiful thing is we can just drag the data from the left and it'll send that to OpenAI at the bottom of our prompt. And you can drag the data in no matter which three of the visual methods you're using. So I can do it like this as well. And you can drag in data from each of the three different ways to visualize the inputs. Like that, or with JSON, like that. So I just need one, right? So I deleted the other two. Leave everything else the same and let's execute the step. All right, so we've gone, hit the OpenAI API, and we've got this AI-generated response, which is great, but let's put it somewhere that other people can access it. Let's store this in a Google Sheet for later review. Can you guess what we're going to do? I think you guys are kind of getting the flow by now. We add a node, we go to Sheets, add Google Sheets. We're going to say append row and sheet uh, before we link the sheet let's create it so you go to docs.google.com create a blank spreadsheet give the sheet a unique name and we're just going to add a date and trend field to column a and b so we're going to have to add new credentials right because we have not connected to this service before yet in the flow i mean i did but you guys wouldn't have so um you simply click add new credential sign in with google Obviously choose the Google account, which you have your spreadsheet stored in. We can choose the document. So remember we named it super smart AI trend detector, the sheet, which is like the tab in an Excel sheet. And it realized, Hey, we have the date and the trend columns here. And what are the values we're going to send to Google sheets? So for the date, remember I said in our beginning schedule trigger, we had the readable date. We can simply drag that in. And you see how it's in red right now? It's telling us something's wrong. So I had to change that part from item to first with parentheses. For the actual trend we're storing in the Google Sheet, we can pull in the content from our OpenAI call. Let's hit execute and see if it works. And indeed it has. Here we are in our super smart AI trend detector. We have the human readable date as well as the trend from OpenAI. So congratulations on building your first N8N flow. Not that bad, right? But check this out, we're going to take this to the next level. What if you wanted to copy this? Well, you could use this prompt I found on X. It lets you, it lets you generate full N8N workflows from screenshots. All you have to do is copy this prompt. It's a pretty big one. <laughs> 
Start a new chat with Claude. Paste it in. Hit enter. We paste our screenshot in. Hit send. And it'll do its thing. Then literally all you need to do is hit copy, create a new workflow in N8N, and paste. And there you go. So all we need to do is clean these up a bit, enter our credentials, and then we'll be good to go. We kind of messed up the message a model step, but all good. Bam, just connect it like that. We're off to the races. Now that you know the basics of N8N, let's go over the some of the workflows that you can just copy immediately. I'm gonna go over use cases that use AI for marketing, sales, IT ops, support, even a crypto trading workflow. <laughs> So be sure to stick around for this part. If you've been enjoying the video so far, hit subscribe so you don't miss another video. We are dropping immense value here and you guys don't wanna miss out. So here we are back in the templates page on the NNN website, starting with some AI use cases. This lets you build your first AI agent. Again, all you literally have to do is click use for free, get started with NNN Cloud, and it'll import it into your workspace for you and you can execute it immediately. So this is an AI agent that receives messages, selects the right tools for the job, whether it be weather or news or email, and it responds with live helpful answers. So just import this thing, run it, and you can say that you've built an AI agent. How cool is that? You know someone had to build a Jarvis, a personal productivity AI agent for tasks, calendar and email. And this one uses MCPs, or Model Context Protocol, which is just an easy way to let an AI talk to other apps easily without calling APIs. It's a layer in between the AI and API. This template lets you talk to Google Sheets using ChatGPT5. This is a rag chatbot for your company documents using Google Drive and Gemini. Again, one click, you've already got it here. All you need to do is set up your credentials and you're good to go. This person even lists the setup steps right in their flow. But it is not all about these super complex flows with 50 nodes in them. No, no, no. Some of the highest ROI automations are actually very boring ones like this a basic automatic gmail email labeling with open ai and gmail api you wouldn't believe how much time founders spend sorting through their emails trying to figure out what's really important so you can sell this automation to business owners and, and it'll label messages appropriately it could put every email that's trying to sell something to them in a certain category now onto some marketing use cases this one is an ai powered social media post flow so it uses Google Trends and Perplexity AI to find things to post about and post them on Facebook, LinkedIn, and X. Also keeps track of everything in Google Sheets. Here's a flow that generates viral videos with Nano Banana and VO3. And it lets you plug in all of your social media platforms here as well. Here's a template that lets you analyze your landing page with AI and get recommendations. So it scrapes your website, puts it through an AI agent, and gives you ways to optimize it. Now for some very, very high value sales workflows. This one scrapes leads from Appify to Google Sheets and cleans the data. And this is an example of a really simple flow, but it has such high ROI that you would have no problem justifying the value of this build to a founder at a thousand bucks. Sticking with sales, here's a lead generation system from Google Maps to email. This is by my favorite N8N YouTuber, Nick Sarive. Last sales use case, you can scrape recent news about a company before a call. So a couple of fun ones here. This is for automatic trade so I don't really do this but maybe some of you guys do this is a spot trader so it lets you set limit and market orders via API and I think this is like a cryptocurrency trading website Binance obviously not investment advice if you lose all your money doing this hey that's your problem <laughs> here's an automated stock analysis report and it does some sentiment analysis using artificial intelligence and this one actually uses visual pattern recognition plus quantitative stuff and this one uses visual pattern recognition as well as using a numerical analysis. All right, we all built our crypto trading bots. Sweet, onto the next flow. Here are some IT operations use cases. First one is control your N8N instance remotely with a Telegram bot. So just look at some of the functions this Telegram bot gives you. You can list all your workflows. You can execute one in Telegram. You can activate or deactivate workflows, etc. And guys, there are so many IT operations, use cases, connecting different apps, you know, tickets, support, that kind of thing. So focusing in on support, this is a voice-based appointment booking system. 
So yeah, that probably should have been in the sales section, but anyway. Here's a smart email draft generator. The reason you want to generate a draft and not just send emails automatically like this is AI still kind of writes in a way that's easily identifiable and then you lose trust immediately. So what you want to do is something like this. You write a draft, you make some final edits before sending it yourself. Last but not least, create a branded AI powered website chatbot. So it'll look something like this when all said and done. So remember to start by using templates and AI to generate your N8N flows. That'll get you 90% of the way there. Then you just need to plug in your credentials and make a few tweaks most of the time. Time. Yeah, you essentially never want to be building from scratch with N8N, not when there's such an extensive library of templates out there. And that's it for today's video, so please like if I was able to help you out today and subscribe so you don't miss another video. Check out our free guides in the description which literally teach you how to be a god of prompting. Remember that the recent MIT report proves that building your solutions from scratch can actually make or break your AI project. And that's all for me today guys, this was Ben from God of Prompt, I'll see you in the next video, peace.